I'm being a bit overdramatic, aren't I? Well, I mean, it's the end of the world, so that's kind of up for debate. I'm also not very sure how most people would react to off-world invaders and domestic forces shooting at you. My point is that no matter what happens, I'm screwed. Damn it, Freeman. Well, here we go. Time to deal with Scumbag Platoon. Uh, oh, well, great. I've just come across one of their goddamn outposts. Just look at all these crates! And hold on for a second, am I hearing this correctly? Is that a goddamn helicopter? What? Ah! Uh, uh, oh, shit! Fuck, what was that? Uh, they're... They're bombing? Are they out of their mind? Uh, shit! Why? What constitutes this? Sending airstrikes this way isn't going to magically get rid of an interdimensional rift, you morons! Ah, shit. This is the only way I can go. Well, it sounds like the airstrikes have stopped. For now, they still have that obnoxious ass siren blaring. You know, I probably could run and gun outside, but based on all of these cases, there are probably 10 billion soldiers surrounding the vicinity. I'll just take my chances inside of the not-so-sheltered warehouse, thank you very much. But in all honesty, I really have to get a move on because this thing is gonna blow! Why are you bombing an empty warehouse? There's no point to this! There's also no point in fighting scared civilians either! Ah, hell! <laughs> convenient vehicle placement at a convenient time! How convenient! Shit, not convenient enough! Ah, running, 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 running! Why are they still- uh, Are those meant for me specifically? I'm not the only one in here! Fucking idiot! Fuck this! Not a good idea to fight somebody at a higher elevation than you. Ground level, however. Good lord, they're actually aiming for my head! You assholes are just begging to get shot, aren't you? Jesus, this has gone to shit! Well, this whole thing has been terrible, but now... Ah, oh, Christ. It's on an entirely different level! Shit! How did this go from an alien invasion to the US bombing on their own citizens? And the worst thing is, it hasn't even been a day yet! This is all just some stupid mistake! This is the worst... thing! This is like comparing Romeo and Juliet to fucking Hamlet! Oh shit, I need to get to lower ground. Um... Okay? What in the hell was that? Ah, Christ! These assholes just never give up, nor do they learn, do they? Sorry, but if you're receiving lessons from my bullets, then there's something fundamentally wrong with your approach. Okay, I should just stop berating the soldiers for one moment and focus on escaping, because I'd really like to get out of here alive. Due to the introduction of airstrikes, however, that's going to be far more difficult than I originally imagined. On the plus side, however, the outside area isn't completely infested by military numbskulls. So there's that. But... That doesn't exactly mean I won't be facing any opposition outside. I just won't be facing any competent opposition. The soldier I just dispatched was the weakest link, however, so I won't be paying him any attention. Wow, they've really cut off my avenues of escape. Jesus. You know, I don't exactly believe in luck, but I consider myself very lucky to have taken those archery classes when I was younger. Hand-eye coordination is key in these times. Alright, I'm just gonna fucking gun it. They have a helicopter and... <sighs> Shit. Gotta get away. Okay, so it's either I leave here immediately or stay here and get turned into fucking dust. I think I know which option I'm going to choose. Although to be fair, my survival depends solely on whether or not I can outrun an explosion. Uh, uh-huh. All right. Wait, why are these idiots still out there? Do they not understand how explosions work? Do they think their organs will let go press themselves? If so, that's a miracle of science! Good on them! Actually, I should just let this whole thing play out. If they keep on bombing, they might pick off their own members. Idiotic friendly fire, but friendly fire in my favor nonetheless. I just have to make sure they get atomized before I do! No! Uh, no uh, shit! Move, move, move! Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down! Get down. Uh, Big fucking 
Fucking A. Bringing airstrikes to a gunfight. Oh, you guys are real cool, aren't ya? Because you can't even kill a single goddamn man. You're just gonna bomb them out of existence. Good fucking job. Ugh, shit. What do I do? I, I have nowhere to go. Shit. No, they just keep on going. It's too much. They're done. Why the fuck would they send soldiers down here? Are they nuts? <laughs> Do they want to kill me that much? Well, they've got me cornered. I'll give them that much, but still. Even that's incredibly risky because they're still going to keep bombing to weed me out. And while they do that, they're going to send out soldiers to kill me. I won't do well in a confined space like this. <coughs> I'm just the wrong man in the wrong place, but I don't think that matters anymore. <laughs> Fight or flight. Live and let die. It's kill or be killed. There's nowhere left to turn! Ah, shit, he's still wide open. Ah, okay, I managed. Now's my chance. This should also lead to another set of air vents if I'm to use this area as a reference. Okay, good. Just have to hurry my ass up. Ah, ah, climb, climb, climb. Ah, ah, perfect. They're closing in. Ah, I made it. I actually made it. I actually fucking made it! I actually survived the impossible. But that doesn't excuse all the trauma or stress I've endured. But, you know, the world doesn't really care about my mental state. I just kinda have to keep on going along with it. It's almost as if the entire world is just trying to force feed me these dramatic experiences. Well then, okay. It looks like the coast is clear. It sucks that I'm back inside of the facility, but hey, you know. It's better than airstrikes. It's also strikingly quiet. My auditory senses are thoroughly pleased with this, however. Well, that was a harder landing than I expected. Also quite the rude awakening. Okay. Now then, I don't even know where the hell I'm going anymore. The surface is obviously no longer an option, so... I guess it's back to aimlessly stumbling around the halls. Great. Actually, I could try to use the elevator and see if I could find myself in an area that's not getting fucked over by the military. <laughs> Probability dictates that I'm going to die if I go up there. I'm just going to take my chances inside of the facility. It's more so a dilemma between losing your life and losing your sanity. Sure, both are equally undesirable, but one's not non-existence. Oh, well, speaking of non-existence... One... Two, three. This has been Natural Numbers with Dr. Vincent Stark. Join us next time when we explore whole numbers and the Raymond Hypothesis. <laughs> you know, I actually enjoy the change of pace. Unlike the soldiers, the aliens have some sort of just- ah! Ow, ow! Ah, uh, seriously? I retract my compliment. A little bit, I mean, I still fancy you guys over the soldiers. Alright, so back to the matter at hand. This is where I was before. Oh! You lots are very sneaky. Oh! Oh, wow! Oh, that was very sneaky of you. Super sneaky. Extremely sneaky. Almost ninja-like. For the life of me, I hope I never cross the path of an actual ninja, though. But hey, I'm currently fighting against both aliens and the US military, so anything's on the table, really. Except, uh, survival. But, uh, you know. What? Ah, son of a bitch. What the hell is wrong with these people? Honestly, their actions begin with incompetence and end at insanity. Case in point, trying to airstrike me. No, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm not in the middle of an airstrike anymore, so... Body. God damn. Whatever. I'm. I'm safe for now. Huh? Motherfuckers. Immoral bastards. Shit. Come on. I don't know what the hell is wrong with these people, but they're going to pay. Whatever plot they're involved in, I'm going to put an end to it. The fate of the world hangs in the balance, and all these idiots can do is massacre civilians. 
If that isn't grounds for elimination, then I don't know what is. But, uh, to be fair, I guess they, uh, they didn't start the apocalypse, so, uh, they're going out of their way to kill the people that are trying to stop it, so, uh, or, at the very least, making an effort to, um, hey, this room's open. There's probably some military personnel inside. Ready to get my head popped in three, two, one. Oh, thank God. Well, so much for the government. Right? Their idea of containment is to kill everyone associated with the project. Holy shit, this whole thing is a cover-up. Judging by your hazard suit, huh? I'd say you were part of what went wrong. Isn't that right? Uh, now look, I... if anyone can end this catastrophe, it's the science team in the Lambda Complex at the opposite end of the base. The Lambda Complex? With the transit system out, I couldn't tell you how to get there. Really? So then how will I... But there's an old decommissioned rail system somewhere through here beyond the silo complex. Oh. If you can make it through the rocket test labs, you might be able to worm your way through the old tunnels to track down whatever is left of the Lambda team. But will this work? You can trust them. You can trust all of us. I guess so. Besides, they're really the only chance we have at ending this entire thing. I guess I know what I have to do now. The Lambda Complex. That is the end goal of my journey. Well, hmm? Do you have any idea what to do next? Hmm. Oh. Okay, if you can, try to establish communications with any surviving scientist or security personnel. Tell them that by any means necessary, they must reach the Lambda Complex. If we all get together... Did you understand that last announcement? What? Uh, no, I, I didn't even hear the last announcement. And uh, Hey, you know, you need this more than I do, right? Yeah, I'll just leave this with you. But yeah, make sure to tell anybody to head to the Lambda Complex. Headcount will provide us a large advantage. If not, then tell them to leave before the military does something incredibly stupid. Uh, yeah, sure, but just listen, try to follow up on the thing I asked you, alright? Thanks. I have to get going, time is of the essence. And right now we could use all the help we could get since the military isn't gonna pitch in. So, Lambda Complex. My goal is set. It's the race to establish order in this chaos-ridden facility. Also, this is, uh, fairly ominous. I think I'm gonna wait.